Hello everybody, uh, this is a video demonstration demoing uh, a new feature I've added to my rock script. Uh, this script can be found in Creative Crash, if you are interested please check it out. Alright, let's get started here. <clears throat> if I click on my script and start it up, you'll see that uh, a couple things have changed from last time. Uh, previously, this part here was all that the script uh, was made of. It was basically just uh, the name, the settings, and the create button, which if you test it out, uh, everything there is completely the same. Nothing has changed. Um, however, there has been a new feature added underneath that. <coughs> this is the pseudo retopologize feature. Basically, um, this is not a true retopologize function. Uh, it would take a lot of uh, coding, and that is something I plan to add eventually. But for now, um, this is more or less kind of a, a homegrown algorithm that works best coming out of uh, this script up here. So basically the rocks you generate with this will more or less remesh pretty well with this uh, and you can usually get a pretty clean topology with maybe 90 to 95 percent of the shape retention. So uh, looking at this guy here, this is uh, a good example of what you get when you run the script. It's pretty messy. Uh, so if you're taking this into a sculpting application, you're gonna have trouble um, sculpting these details um, because this is going to be really dense and this is going to be really not dense uh, and that's a problem. You want things to have even topology uh, and of course this is all quads and triangles but it's just terrible looking uh, and that's really hard to work with in some programs. Also if you're using displacement through mental ray or any other application um, <laughs> displacement loves clean topology as well. So this, uh, this function kinda is a pretty integral part of uh, the rock script and it's just something I got around to adding now. So here's how it works. We have a number of sliders here. Uh, these are grayed out right now because we haven't enabled retopology. Once we enable it, these will be active and as you slide them you'll see your result update in real time. Transfer iterations is basically, um, you could call it a quality slider. It, uh, it starts at 1, 1's a good place for it. It only goes as high as 3 because you start to get diminishing returns and your um, your updating takes longer as you get higher. So 2 is usually a pretty good place. If you have pretty complex uh, surface details, I recommend 3. But for now, let's just go with 2. So we have our rock selected, and we click Enable Retopology on Selected Rock. As you can see, we have a new mesh selected, and if we go into X-ray mode, you can see it's kind of conforming to the shape, but um, it's it's not matching it too perfectly. Well, that's where we uh, we tweak these settings and we get things closer where we like. The first setting here, Retop Pre-Smooth, uh, is basically a mesh smooth modifier with history, and it's controlling how smooth your mesh is. So if you take it down to one, obviously you're going to see uh, a very small mesh because it's got very little detail to match to the rock. If we take this up to like 4, you're going to see it gets much closer to the matching, but um, it's still a little smooth around the edges, which may be what you want. It may not be. Uh, we, we have a few other settings we can play with to get things closer. So let's take this back down to 3. <coughs> uh, topology distribution is a very fun slider. It basically adjusts the edge weighting around the edge of the, the uh, source shape. So if I make this a little bigger, um, you'll get a little more matching there. Uh, of course, what's happening on top of this, you have the Shape Relax slider, uh, which basically is smoothing the mesh without adding divisions. Um, so as you can see right now, we have crazy dense detail on the edges, which isn't terribly good. I mean, you got to have some definition there, but you know, there's a balance. So that's what this slider is for. It's to give you that control over um, how much edge density you have in your mesh. Um, Retop Post Smooth is more or less the same thing as Pre Smooth, but it adds a smoother uh, modifier over top of the end result instead of before. Uh, so this is basically like a, a very general Post Smooth operation. So you can enter one, you can go up to three. Uh, whatever you need to do here is fine. Uh, okay, so let's say we we bring this slider to about here. Um, maybe we take this up to there, uh, and we take this down a little bit more. 
Let me move this here and say, say we're happy with this. Uh, the end result still pretty dense. Um, apologies, much nicer. So what we can do here is um, reduce the mesh, which is basically using Maya's built-in poly reduce function, and we can bring this down to something more acceptable um, and practical for whatever your application is. And of course, all these things are, are built in together, so you can go back and adjust just about anything, uh, and you can see it all update in real time. So if we can add a little more relax, you know, so we're pretty close here. Um, the shape will not match 100%, but it will match close enough to give you something to start off. And if you're baking um, bump map, normal map, or any kind of sculpt detail, you can use this as a, a starting point for your bake. Okay, so when you're done, we uh, still have our, our mesh here. You click Finish Retopology. Uh, all these will go back to their defaults and they'll be grayed out. And we have here our finished mesh. So as you see, it's matching uh, as best as it can the topology of the source mesh while maintaining a relatively clean level of topology. There are going to be a few triangles, but for the most part, it's all quads. Um, and that is the end of the demonstration for the root topology feature in RockGen. Thank you very much, and if you find it interesting, please purchase it. Thank you.